Today I'll be reviewing A Galaxy Next Door. This anime series was kind of popular in Crunchyroll, so I decided to watch it. In this anime series, the main character Kugo works as a manga artist for a living. He needs help with getting his manga chapters out in time, so he hires an assistant. The assistant's name is Goshiki, and she seems very passionate about manga and Japan. One day, he notices something on her body, and he ends up grabbing it. It turns out Goshiki is not a normal human. She is a princess of the star people. The weird thing that he grabbed is a thorn, and because he grabbed it, they must now get married in the future. Kuga isn't sure about getting married, but he does find himself slowly falling in love with her. This was a decent romance anime series with good romantic development. I actually enjoyed watching it because for once, the pacing was actually good. The characters don't just madly fall in love right away, but the characters also don't take until the final episode to confess. You see them getting closer and closer over time, and confess within a reasonable amount of time. This should be a case for all romance anime series. It didn't leave us in frustration with slow pacing. It's like, wow, I'm actually watching a normal romance. To see characters confess at a reasonable time, and not need some magical over-the-top confession, was refreshing to watch. The characters knew what they wanted, and went for it. I also like the Sammy series didn't just throw in sweet romantic moments in your face. By that, I mean putting in sweet romance scene after another. I'm not into that type of romance anime series. The chemistry between Kuga and Goshiki just felt so natural. Even when drama does occur, it doesn't feel like melodrama that makes you want to drop the anime series. It just feels like a major challenge that Kuga and Goshiki had to overcome. This anime series didn't have intense drama scenes, and I was fine with that. I wanted a chill romance anime series, and it gave me just that. It reminded me of the anime series Hori Mia in that way. The characters are what made this anime series work great. Goshiki was so passionate and excited about exploring love. It had like how dedicated she was in trying to understand love and pursuing it. She really brought much energy to the anime series. Kuga was a decent main character. He didn't just run away from Goshiki's feelings. He pursued a romantic relationship with her. Too many times in the anime series, main characters are too shy and too scared when it comes to romance. But here, Kuga actually told Goshiki how he felt. It was nice seeing main character not run away for once. The opening and ending song for this anime series were okay. The music for the romance scenes was pretty good and made those moments even more powerful and memorable. The animation style and the animation looked good in the anime series. Not too many people talk about the anime series now. But it was good for what it was. I want good characters and good romantic development. And this anime series gave me just that. I give this anime series a 7 out of 10.